Hey, what's up, buddy? Augmat today. Today we have a weapon review on the new Sovereign's Punishment, which is a pretty interesting name, and I think the only weapon that's really worth reviewing this week. The bases are they're all right. So let's actually take a look at the stats, which is going to be the main draw of it. It does a lot of damage to start off with. I have like 54 damage, and that is also with six proficiency. But keep in mind, this isn't with the damage buff, um, and that's without any like other sorts of buffs either. So that's a lot of damage. 20% pen, which is also really big because is a blunt weapon 10 percent chip which is always going to be i guess nice but 0.55 swing speed this is swinging as slow as uh evans uh, what's called evan spear which is really slow but you can work with i guess 13 posture damage that is the most in the game i think yeah the most posture damage in the game so that's kind of the special property of this weapon it does the most posture damage in the game nine range not bad to work with unfortunately though as you guys can see no new like no new crit that comes with it so um honestly like the weapon it, it's just a, a stat stick really to be honest i wish they did give it a little bit of like a, maybe like it slams they're going to cracks it let's just do a quick combat showcase and show off what it can do as you can see i decide i want to go along with the bloodthirsty hammer because it does more damage now this specific build has five proficiency so it's still doing like 53 damage which is really really nice uh Sekra on top maybe if you can beat me buddy bam let's get the double clone on him use the crit here nice Double knockdown. Now the clone damage should be dealing a lot of posture. Ooh! Oh my goodness. This guy, for some reason, just can't pair anything today. Okay. I, I, okay. Now that might not happen in your matches. Honestly, to be like quite frank, like the crit is really, uh, or I mean, the weapon's really slow. The crit has nothing unique to it. If you're using it just for the posture, I think there's honestly better weapons that can give you what you want, uh, like in a in a better way. A good example is kind of like the first light weapon. Now you might be asking, why does like the first light weapon actually like why does it perform better than this? Well, actually, a lot of people run uh, what's it called, uh, Nemesis on the first light crit, and the first light crit does like a, a crap ton of posture, right? So maybe you could also run Nemesis with this as well, but honestly, I don't know, man. Wait, did I just cap, did I just use Cap Artist? What the hell? One other thing they actually decided to do was uh, give Vision Shaper clones. They actually fixed them. So they used to like die in one hit, right? Um, but now they actually fixed them by not making them die in like one hit, uh, which is really nice of them. Let's do this right here. On, we hit this guy a lot, and he's not dead yet. I don't know how I feel about that. Like we've hit him a good amount of time no like this weapon's supposed to be like a, a, a big damage dealer meanwhile i'm i'm eating like a few of his hits uh, anyway bro um gg to this guy yeah uh the hammer honestly i mean it's 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 okay like it i, I don't think it's calm really it's not that great to be honest um maybe if it gets unique like jump crit like it's mario um but yeah this this hammer i you can pick it up, sure, but I honestly would just recommend other heavy weapons. There's probably plenty of other choices. That's going to be all. Peace.